Hello everyone, welcome back to Gitroy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is having an issue with network error, can't connect to the game server or unable to log in to the play the fab. So this is happening for many of the users and how we can fix this. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we need to restart the game. So we need to what we need to do is we just need to exit from the game. Once you exit from the game, just go over here and try launching the game once again. And that is might be working. If that is not the case, we just need to restart the Steam. For restarting the Steam, once you close the game, this is how it looks like. So just closing over here, it's not actually a restart. Just go over here at the top left, click on the Steam. There is an option called exit. Just exit from the game. I mean you have to exit this so steam will be exited and once after this you have to log in back i mean you have to open the steam once again and afterwards it's going to take a little bit of time to get loaded up once afterwards try launch the game and click on the play button and try launch the game and that will be working fine for you guys as well next one is all about after this we need to verify integrity of game file for this we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties Go to install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to take a little bit of time. So what happens is we cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So just do verify integrity of game file and we have to launch the game. And also try restarting the PC a couple of times. It worked for many users so you can try this out. Just go over here in this particular icon. Click over here and go for a restart. Once the restart is done, try launching the game and that will work it for few users as well. Next one is all about, we need to make sure the date, time, time zone is correct. So just go over here in the search and we have to go to the settings. Now from here we have to go over here, go to the time and language, go to the date and time, make sure the time and time zone is turned it on. So if it is turned it off, we have to turn on this. If it is turned it on, we have to turn on this and we just need to close this and we have to try launching the game. And also parallel make sure the region has to be selected fine just go over here in time and language go to the language and region so you have to select the geography accord you have to select the country according to your geography do the appropriate one and afterwards just go back and try launching the game afterwards still the issues there you can try disconnecting and reconnecting to your network so just go over here in the wi-fi over here so we can try disconnecting so try i mean you have to uh, remove it and once i've disconnected and try reconnecting it back most probably it worked for many users and few mentioned in the uh, reddit it worked for them so you can try this out even after trying still the issues there then we just need to close all the overlay application just go over here in the start right click over here and go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so these are utilizing it so if you find the unwanted things for example discord riva tuner msa afterburner all these comes under the ad this kind of category so just remove everything from here and once you remove everything from here we just need to close this and we need to go back and we need to try launching the game next one after trying with this if the issue is still there you can also run the game as an administrator so just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties go to the install it file and just click on the browse so over here as you can see just go over here and this is the installation folder so just select the game application right click and go to the show more options go to the properties go to the compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for ok and also run the game in the compatibility mode so just close this and we have to close this as well we have to close this and we have to go back and we need to try launching the game next one is all about we need to do is we just need to do like this what we need to do we just need to avoid using alt and tab i don't know how but for many users when they started avoiding using alt and tab it worked for them so you can try this out as well Next one is if they, you, you're trying to play the game in the uh, windowed mode, try changing it to full screen windowed mode and uh, I mean full screen mode it worked for many users so you can try this out as well. After trying with this if the issue is still there you can also try these steps that we have to disable the manual proxy. For disabling the manual proxy we have to go over here in the search, go to settings over here, go to the network and internet and go to the proxy and make sure this is turned off. And also once you turn this off, try launching the game. If that is not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we need to run the network troubleshooter. So just go over here in the search, 
go to the settings over here now from here we have to go to system keep scrolling down go to the troubleshoot go to other troubleshoots and from here we have to go for network and internet run this troubleshoot and it will be working fine for you guys as well for many users it worked so just click on the run over here and that will be working fine for you guys as well after trying with this if the issue is still there you can also try with the next one that is all about we need to do like this we need to run these commands so i'll be providing few things in the description that is these commands you have to copy each one by one so we need to run these commands in the cmd so just go over here in the search and we have to search for command prompt so just click on the run it as an administrator go for yes so paste it and press enter this is the first one we can go for the next one that is all about ip config release and we have to paste it and we have to press enter move to the next one that is ip renew ip config renew so just copy this and we have to paste it and we have to press enter move to the next one that is ip uh, net ch winsock reset and we have to press it and we have to press enter and also we have to go for the next one that is net ch int ip reset and we have to copy this and we have to paste it and we have to press enter so we have to go over here ip con copy this as well and we have to paste it and we have to press enter and we have to go over here go to the next one that copy this and we have to copy this and i mean we have to paste it press enter and i think we have last one more that is this one copy this and we have to paste it over here and we have to press it so once you're done with this one try launch the game and most probably the issue will be completely fixed because it worked for many users so we can try this out next one is we need to do a perform a network reset so just go over here in the search go over here in the settings now from here we have to go to network and internet go over here in the advanced network settings now from here we have to go to network and reset go for reset now so what happens is it will be completely done and once afterwards you have to connect it back once again and try launch the game next one we need to switch to a different network so just go over here and go to this over here and we have to try connecting to multiple networks so just disconnect it try connecting to this and you can also try with this and you can also try with this so this can be done so these apart from this you can try with two more steps that is we have to update the windows so just go over here in the search go to the settings go to update windows update and make sure windows is up to date and once afterwards still the issues is there you can also try in uh, verify integrity of game file which is already done and also try uninstalling and reinstalling it back so just go over here go to the manage and install the game but keep in mind you have to installing it back not on the same local disk from which you already uninstalled try changing the position of local disk so these are the possible workaround which can be done when you are having this issue and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye